welcome to my channel. My name is Heather and this is the Fluffy Oracle. So today's pick a card video is going to be all about what signs have your guides been sending you along with some extra messages behind those signs and what they mean possibly for you and some extra messages as well as some guidance that they would like to convey to you during this reading. So for your choices we have pile one and pile two. Timestamps will be down below in the description box as usual as well as any affiliate links to all of the decks in case you would like to check them out and purchase them and add to your wonderful deck collections. I will also have timestamps down below in the first comment for my mobile users for your convenience to jump around as well to your pile. This deck right here is an absolutely brand new deck. It's called the Foxfire Oracle or the Kitsune deck and Foxfire or excuse me Kitsune is actually Japanese for Fox Spirit and I find the images in it to be absolutely wonderful and beautiful so I will show you what they look like a little bit this is kinda how they look like in that deck and I love all this new artwork on Lucy's new deck this is a Lucy Cavendish deck and it's absolutely beautiful. I love looking at these cards. So without further ado and any more ramble from me, we will go ahead and jump in in just a second. I would like to say welcome to all my new viewers. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this reading. So without further ado, I will see you at your pile. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose pile number one, let's get into this and see what kind of signs and messages your guides have for you today. So right away, I am really drawn to the Shadow Dancer card. Now with this, I feel like your guides have been trying to kind of get your attention with kind of like things out of the corner of your eye, like noticing like maybe a moving shadow or something out of the corner of your eye, just kind of like listening and just kind of getting your attention to look in that direction. That's kind of a sign from your guides that they want you to look in that direction and that they're kind of basically saying hello and saying we're here we're, we're with you we we you know we hear you and you're not alone because i'm really attracted to the whole and the soul card as well with kind of feeling <clears throat> as if you're feeling really lonely and just kind of isolated they want you to know that you're not isolated and that you're not alone and that they are there supporting you and giving you a lot of love and trying to show you that they're there and I also see the acceptance card with this. I feel like it's kind of hard for you to accept certain things that have been going on for you lately because it's been making you feel kind of isolated. It's okay to feel a little bit, you know, secluded because sometimes you need a little bit of time to yourself, but they also want you to have some self acceptance. There's nothing wrong with you is what they're trying to say through these cards. Because I feel like you have a little bit of um, self-image trouble lately. Like you kind of don't feel like you're either pretty enough or just you're not feeling yourself lately is what I'm getting. You've been kind of harsh on yourself. And it's perfectly okay, but they want you to have a little bit more self-love and self-acceptance of that. And know that you are beautiful. It doesn't matter what others think. It matters what you think. And they're also trying to help you to discover your um, life's purpose. But with that, I feel like they're trying to get it to you, the messages to you through song. Like if you have certain songs repeating in your head, look up the lyrics to try and figure out what the song is. Because once you figure out what, what the song is, you can <clears throat> look up the song and see if there's any extra messages from you reading the rest of the song because that's kind of how I go about it when I get messages like last night for example I was texting a friend of mine and I got the song playing in my head Mr. Sandman send me a dream the lyric kept repeating over and over and I had already pulled some cards that were saying that it was time to go to bed basically from a new deck of mine that I was kind of just you know messing around with getting a feel for it and connecting with it and that's how they communicate with me is they send me certain messages and I pick up on it. And it's usually through song in my head. Sometimes I don't quite understand it, 
but then I go and look up the song and then it makes complete and perfect sense once I read the rest of it or if I listen to it. I get an extra couple of messages and then it clicks. So I also see a whole lot of feathers in this and I'm really attracted to the fact that there's a lot of uh, feathers because I feel like you've been getting, um, you've been seeing feathers lately and the, that's another way that they're sending you messages through leaving little feathers around. They're also asking you to kind of have faith and kind of stay optimistic about whatever it is that you're going through right now. And I get that your pets have been also kind of been quite clingy to you because they've, they sense what's going on with you and they're trying to give you comfort and your guides are kind of basically leading them to you saying, go comfort them. And they also like, if they look, if your pets look off into the distance or at a doorway or they come and sit in front of you, they're looking at your guides and angels or something in there and they're sitting there trying to dis you know, distinguish what exactly it is that they're seeing or sensing in the room. Not to scare you because it's not. If it, if it was something bad, your pets would be going bonkers, let me tell you. So, pets, they seem to have a really keen awareness to things, especially within the spirit realm, because they can see and sense things that we generally can't always see or sense. Um... The other thing that I'm really attracted to that just kind of caught my attention off guard was the word pray. Your prayers are being heard and answered right now. It's just taking a little bit of time. Because with the past card, I'm really attracted to the sands of time instead of the word. It's just taking time for things to come in. I know it feels kind of slow right now, but they're asking you to also hold an attitude of gratitude and be open to receiving the gifts and they're also sending you much gratitude for asking them for um, help and actually give them, you know, the permission to come in and help you and, you know, to be there with you and support you. So I also have some extra messages from them for you. So we have worry is a wasted emotion. They don't want you to worry so much because they, I feel like they don't want you to stress out and that everything is just fine and working out in divine timing and in your favor. And then it says, take responsibility for your actions. So with this, they want you to take pride in yourself and everything that you've been doing and that you're on the right path and to be more positive about the things that you've been doing and know that you're doing the right thing. We have, when I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract, <clears throat> I attract support from the universe. Know that the universe is supporting you and the more that you stay optimistic and in a more high vibrational state, the more the universe helps you and works a little bit faster in your favor. My happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. As I was just saying, the more positive reflection that you have and the more positive vibration that you have, the more the universe will reflect that back to you. And then we have birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into beginning or into being, excuse me. With this, there's a lot of new opportunities that are coming in for you is what I'm getting with this card. And they're trying to get your attention as well, especially like with, I'm really attracted to all these little orbies. So I feel like with the flashes of light, that's them trying to get your attention and signaling you saying, hey, you're doing the right thing. You, you know, we're here with you and we're helping it, helping bring these new opportunities in for you. And we just want you to know that things are working out and that we hear you. And then we have answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Listen to your intuition and listen to the messages that they're um, giving you. And also I'm getting that your intuition works hand in hand with them. Like they're giving you the aha moments. They're kind of giving you messages subtly and kind of helping to work in tangent with your intuition. And they're giving you nudges in the right direction. So these are your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. All right. So for my loves who chose pile number two, Let's see what messages and signs that your 
um, guides and angels have been trying to relay to you and have for you. So right away, I've been drawn to the numbers with the numbers two, seven, and eight, because this, the end card over here with the infinity sign looks like an eight to me, just turned sideways. And then we have 25 up here, which five and two is seven. And then we have the single number two, and then the number 17, which is one and seven equals eight. I also get that some of you have been seeing a lot of feathers, both black and white, or a mix of both. And some of you, which this is really unique because I'm really attracted to the candles and the flames in this. I feel like some of you have been seeing like if you do candles at home, like if you light them, they've been messing with the, um, the flames and or making them go out to try and get your attention to let you know that they're there. And I also feel like you've been really drawn to kind of picking up some new crystals lately because she's holding a crystal in her hand with the alchemy card. So we have education, emotions, and healing. I feel like you've been learning quite a lot about the, um, the signs and you've been going through a lot of emotional healing as well throughout all of this, um, the past like few weeks to a few months. And I feel like they also have been visiting you during dream time and trying to, uh, get your attention through there and expressing messages through your dreams because I'm really attracted to the owl in this. And then some, for some of you, if you've been seeing like either a lot of pictures or paintings or like even objects when you're out shopping of lighthouses, I'm really attracted to the lighthouse in this and the light bulb. And I'm just like, really kind of like almost as if it's guiding you almost in the right direction, but you're, it's like an ADD moment. All of a sudden you look over or whatever and you see a lighthouse and you're really attracted to like, Oh, that's so pretty. That type of thing is what I'm getting with this. And then some of you for like a very select few have been seeing a lot of roses or like things to do with roses or smelling them and then butterflies, a lot of butterflies have been um around some of you guys with the warmer weather is what i'm getting i'm like is there anything else i also feel like the next moon cycle is going to be very important for you for a lot more growth spiritually because they want you to set some intentions for manifestation because i'm really attracted to the alchemy they also want you to kind of get out of a slump and stop self self sabotaging yourself as well and to take things a little bit more easier on yourselves with a with the word uh grace is what i'm attracted to with this so i also have some extra cards over here for some extra messages we have have an attitude of gratitude so take a little bit more pride in everything that you have kind of take stock of what you have and make it attitude of gratitude list or like a gratitude list to see exactly what you have and things to be grateful for and basically count your blessings is what I'm hearing with that and then I have you are here for a reason so with this card I feel like you've been wondering why you're here and what your purpose is know that it's for a greater reason you're just still figuring out what that is. And I feel like they've been giving you these messages through your dreams in order to help you with that and trying to, um, push you in the right direction to help you for, um, your life purpose. Like say you have people that come up to you and kind of like spill out their entire life story. For example, your purpose is to just listen to them and let them vent and that will help them in turn heal. And it may also help you heal as well because they might say something that might spark your interest in order to have a conversation and you'll be able to kind of connect on kind of like a more emotional type of level and kind of relate to them. And in turn, it'll help you come up with some ideas either to fix or solve your problems is what I'm getting. So we have, instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good for all. So instead of holding a specific intention, 
just ask for what is for your greatest and highest good when you're praying or when you're asking the universe to bring you things, which is kind of like having an attitude of gratitude and be open to receiving whatever it is that these blessings are blessings are that are coming in for you from the universe and to be okay with that and know that they are for your greatest and highest good. There's kind of like a loophole with asking the universe for things. You can always ask, I ask for this, X, Y, Z, or something better. Dazzle me, you know, dazzle me with your wonder. I'm like, I know there's an, another saying, I'm like, because the loopholes are, I ask for this or something better. And then there's dazzle me with amazement and surprise me is what, um, what some of these loopholes are. One, it, if I remember them later on after this, because it's probably going to hit me like a ton of bricks after this, I will put them down in the description box if I remember them. If not, I will put it in a later video, I promise. But it's please dazzle me with amazement and I ask for this or something better and just be open to receiving. Alrighty. So know that those are some loopholes that you can put out there to the universe when you're asking for things. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. A lot of these cards are coming out like yesterday and I'm like, I shuffled the living crap out of these. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like this one's from yesterday. This one's from yesterday. The light bulb came out yesterday, but this was all in pile one. And I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> so if you guys watched yesterday's reading and you're back again, they're kind of basically giving you the same messages. <laughs> They just want you to really kind of get it. And they want you to have more of an attitude of love and kind of have a little bit more compassion toward yourself and others with the I Choose Love card. And then we have true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. So whatever, like say in this reading for some, some as an example, something didn't agree with you and it bothered you the wrong way. That is a lesson for you in order to kind of dive beneath that and find out why it kind of rubbed you the wrong way and how it triggered you and to learn how to release that is what it's asking you to do. It's asking you to dive a little bit deeper within yourself and figure out the reasons things are bothering you and kind of see how much of a reflection it is of yourself kind of externally it's it's a mirror it's always a mirror when something triggers you of something in hidden within yourself that you you generally dislike or bothers you about yourself sometimes it may not be so apparent but if you take a moment to think about it it will actually make sense after we have boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries so with this I hear learn, learn to say no, learn how to say no, and when to say no to others asking too much of you lately and too much of your time and kind of making you spread yourself thin with trying to please everyone. Stop people pleasing is what I'm getting with this as well. And then we have the great gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. So with this, I feel like you, you're going to be having some new soul family members coming into your life, like making new friends or even um, just new soulmate relationships. Now remember, soulmates can be friends, family, children, relationships. It doesn't have to be a specific thing. You'll be meeting someone of like-mindedness and be able to kind of get to know each other on a more common ground like there will be so much in common that you guys will be almost inseparable and it'll be like you've been meeting someone that you haven't seen in like years is what I'm getting with this even if it's kind of through the internet you'll be able to connect with them and talk to them and you'll feel that connection with them on a really deep deeper bonding level is what I'm getting with this so I do hope that you enjoyed these messages and if you're new here please go ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button down below or my pretty little face at the end of this video on the right hand side of the screen and I will see you guys next video and I hope that you enjoyed this reading and that these messages resonated for you
See you next video, guys. Love yous. I'm dreaming.